I want to jump straight into it. We talking about being in the city, right? Of Atlanta. Uh, of course, the movie Departments uh, it drops when when, when you see this. Yeah, when you see this, it'll be dropped. It'll, yeah, it'll be, it'll out, be right? out. Facts. Yo, when you talking about departments, me not being from Atlanta, I hear it so much in the city, right? Uh, it got a, a super popular podcast named Departments. We got uh, Desi Banks always talking about my partner in departments, mm-hmm. right? What is departments? What and what does that mean to Atlanta? Uh, it's a it's a it's a community, right? It's a community. Um, I mean, y'all got apartments in Baltimore. Yeah, I, yeah, I got the projects yeah, for sure. Yeah, project mm-hmm. apartment. Well, see, the projects is a little different. Tell me the difference. See, the projects is like you know they they uh. uh and we talk about that in the apartment, mm. in the film. See, Projects is, um, that is a government-owned building mm. that is, you know, it allows people who live below the poverty line to stay there. You know mm. what I mean? Apartments, you know, no matter how luxurious <laughs> or how modest they may be, you still paying rent. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> or unless you got Section 8 and you got a voucher. You know That's a fact. Yeah. Right. But... Right. The apartments are different from the projects, and the back streets different from the apartment. Mm, so you know what I'm saying. There's levels of life in this community, and you know levels of uh, uh, evolution of, of 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 your experience that I think that we kind of touch on a lot of that. Um, it's a little classism in it in the you, apartments. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Because people in the apartment, you know. They, they they feel like they're doing a little better than the people in the project. That's fine. Right. Mm-hmm. And the people on the back street feel like they're doing a little bit better than the people. We all thought we, we But we all in the same ghetto. Yeah. Yeah. Same, yeah. same yeah. hood. Nah, he ain't got no yard, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. We just talking about you about to drop some music, right? Right. And the only people who say they can't take it serious are the people that look like us. Right. And not even... For looking at the people that's in the apartments, looking down on the people that's in the projects. Right. Let's talk about the people that's in the apartments, looking down on people that's in the apartments. Mm. It's like people that upstairs think they're better than the one downstairs. Right. Bro, right. Yeah, right. I had the words that coming up in the projects, like, and I, as a kid, I didn't understand the difference. I, I used to think that they did have, have it better than me, to be right. honest. Right. Mm-hmm. When did you wh- When did you learn that, man? It's only the people that look like us or the people that come from the same places that. Just that like talk what OG down said, us. we stay in the same neighborhood. Yeah, we got people that got, like, I'm from the back street, mm. but I also grew up in the apartment. But I also understand what he said, the project, but I have a, a different perception that I feel like the project is the apartment mm. because at the end of the day, it's the, that's what we consider our project. Because we ain't have no project. Mm. Y'all call them the project, but we just call them the apartment. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? So it's kind of like the same thing, but me being on the back street, when I was going into the apartment, I knew it was a different type of feel because people was outside all day, every day. Mm-hmm. It was like a barbecue. Because you know you're in the apartment, well, so you really tent. ain't got nothing but to do but come outside. But <laughs> when you in the back street, you could be in your yard and I could be in my yard. And they'd be like, fuck you, motherfucker. Nah, facts. We ain't never got to see each other. Yeah. So it was, it was just a different feel every time I went into the apartment. It was like a more love foundation than what it was on the back street. Mm. Yeah. BB, I'm curious. What was your experience in the apartments when you was coming up? Um, it was like mixed. It was like the project, the, when I was growing up, it was like the project people, meaning the government assist people and people who like in the apartments, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it was like, and it was like people on the back street. Cause I lived on the back street too, like 63 Magnolia, that's in Vine City. That's where like my grandma house was type. Like that's where I lived at. That's where I went. I used to walk to Kennedy. So my, my growing up, it was just, it was, it was hard. I ain't gonna lie. It was hard. <laughs> Hard. Rough so it was fun it. at school, but when we go home, that's when it got hard. Like when it got you, home for me. Mm, like hard, like what? Lights off, mm. like, like that. Ain't got no food like that. Sometimes yeah. got a limit what you eat. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I mean by hard. So like school was an escape. Walk to school, walk to the same folks in the hood. Go to the school. When I say I heard, I heard somebody talking about you know, you know, growing up poor, can, and, and these you know, these, and I know these people, and they happen to have hard working family, All right? Lived in a house, modest house, but a house no less. Same house throughout their childhood. Uh, it had a car. And, you know, father had a career. Mm. Mom was a stay-at-home mom. Uh, I'm like, poor. I, <laughs> I <ain't>, wait a minute. <laughs> you really had a good like, life, my boy. Having to divide the time when your gas would be on versus it would be mm. off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, winter months, you know, it's important to have the gas on for the heat. You know what I'm saying? But but in the summer months, you don't need no heat. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just put man filled water up in the bowl, put the bowl in the microwave when you got the when you got to wash up in the morning. Mm-hmm. And the phone was a luxury. 
Mm. Yeah. To have a phone in the house. Cable. To say hello. Cable was a luxury. To say hello. Cable. cable. I live in the apartments. I go straight to the cable box, take it out of somebody's <laughs> right in mine. See, fine. we got our neighborhood, so we, yeah. they ain't got cable or the house net don't got cable. <laughs> so you can't still five, six houses down. <laughs> See, that's how I, I don't think of it like it's in the projects, but like even with the gas and electric, if our if our electricity ever went off, yeah. we took the uh the extension cords right. and we plugged it outside right. and just ran the extension cord into the crib. Okay. Mm. I mean it's all Type of struggles, yeah. man. 